I'm Tina. I'm Ross. And today's review, we have another Universal Yums box. So if you're not familiar with Universal Yums, it is a monthly subscription box featuring snacks from different countries around the world. So we have the smallest box. And they do have two other sizes, a medium and a large. And this month we are looking at snacks from Poland. So they will typically have this map here, a guide that goes with it, and it gives information about the country, information about the snacks. It'll tell you if there are any allergens in them. <clears throat> trivia? Oh yes, and trivia. Let's see. Ross is always ready for the trivia. Of course, a sticker. And a sticker, yes. Which we haven't <laughs> used any of them. Let's see. All Polish television is A, black and white, B, broadcast by the same company, C, dubbed by the same man, or D, broadcast in English. What do you think of that one? Wow. Um, B. B, broadcast by the same company? Yes. Close, it is C, dubbed by the same man. One man does all the dubbing. It says, in Poland, subtitles are very rare. Instead, everything is dubbed and all with the same man's voice. No matter if the speaker is a woman, man, or kid speaking, everything is read by the same monotone male voice. Is that true? That sounds awful. That sounds awful. Some Polish folks find it annoying, but most are just accustomed to it. What do you think? Would this mess your next, myth your next binge watch? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh, I don't know what to say to that. I don't either. You know, we like to watch international programs. We and do. I, Personally, yes. I prefer to read subtitles and hear it spoken in the original language. I know you get tired of the subtitles, but I actually like to hear the original actors, even okay. if I don't understand them. Okay. I don't mind subtitles. What I do mind is when you, young lady, leave the <laughs> subtitles on, and then we're watching something in English... <laughs> And then I find myself, I, I know I can understand what they're saying. They're saying it in English, and I'm still reading it because <laughs> someone didn't take the subtitles off. <laughs> yeah, I do that sometimes. Yeah. Well, I have to say with some of the British programs, it does come in handy yes. to have the subtitles on. You know, because we can understand it, but every once in a while, if they're speaking really quickly or if they have an accent that's a little bit more difficult for us to understand, that the subtitles do help. There's, there's that way that. we don't miss anything. Right. Okay. All right, so we're going to unpack this box, and we'll be right back and taste some snacks. We are back and ready to start sampling, and we've got some savory as well as sweet items. I'm sorry, I'm still processing that whole thing about only one man does the <laughs> dubbing. That's got to be some awesome job security when you know you're the only person that does the, yeah. the dubbing. Okay. Yeah. We usually start off with savory first, so let's go ahead. I see pretzel sticks here, these cheese and onion pretzel sticks. I was kind of feeling like pretzel sticks, meh. But they are cheese and onions, so let's yes. see how they are. It says the cheesiest, zestiest sticks in Poland. Now, do you know where pretzels actually originated from? I'm not sure. I always associate them with Germany, but... I, I do too, yes. I don't know if that's actually where they are originally from. It says you're about to taste a mouth-watering medley of Poland's two favorite foods, pretzels and pierogi. Okay. We like pierogi. Yes. It says their pretzels are Poland's favorite salty snack. Okay, let's give them a try. Boop. They smell good. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I have to say that uh, yeah, the cheese and onion mm -hmm. kicks them up a notch. Yeah. They're definitely more interesting than just plain old pretzels. Although you can't beat one of those big Bavarian soft pretzels. Those, yeah, are, those, those are, are delicious. But as far as the hard pretzels, which are ones that are not my preferred, mm -hmm. these are not bad. Yeah, I'm so used to our American pretzel sticks being like these little lacquered, overly <laughs> salty. Mm -hmm. And they're harder too, and I the, think. They're harder. They just really have a nice flavor to it. Yeah. What do you taste more, the cheese or the onion? I think the onion. Same here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, these are a nice change. Mm hmm. Pleasantly surprised with those. Yeah. Not a big hard pretzel fan, but I definitely eat these. Yeah. If you saw these in the store, I pick them up. So, next up, we have an interesting one Monster Munch. So, we have tried Monster Munch as a British crisp. Right. 
Touch of Britain, uh, Brit store we go to. We we found Monster Munch before. So I'm wondering, did they copy the name? It says original Monster Munch potato crisps, pulling saltiest, scariest potato snack. It says a ghoulishly fun shape. I guess they're supposed to be shaped like little ghosts rather than the yes. little monster claws, I think, like the British Monster Munch. Yeah. Yes, we will see. This is by the company Lauren's. Yeah. And it says, with our light and airy crunch, perfect sprinkling of salt and ghoulishly fun shape, these potato crisps are nothing short of a national treasure. Now, let's see. Okay. It's like a little Pac-Man ghost. <laughs> yes. It is like a little Pac-Man ghost. Mm-hmm. And for something that's supposed to be ghoulish, it looks awfully... It's very cute. Looks awfully jolly <laughs> and happy. They're tasty. Yeah. They're, I don't, they don't remind me of the, the British Monster Munch, though. No, I, I think the British Monster Munch... Uh, it was good. Mm -hmm. This is really... I mean, this, this almost feels like, wow, what's in here? It's, it's very, very They're light. Very light, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And I know that the British Monster Munches came in different flavors, too. Mm -hmm. These are just kind of like your... Typical but salted potato, yeah. but they are very, very light. Yeah, they're good. Hmm. <laughs> Awfully cute. Yeah, these are good. Yeah, I like those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Easily go through a bag of these. Yeah, especially with how light they are. <laughs> mm -hmm. Kind of curious if they have calories. 523. That seems like a lot. So, Unless it's not converted for our kind of calories. Uh, so. Okay, so we're done with savory, correct? We are done with savory. Okay. So why don't we open up the yum bag? <clears throat> see what we've gotten there. Okay. For a while, they weren't sending the yum bags. They were like little mystery packs with usually just one or two pieces of candy in it. We have. These look very familiar. They do. Yeah. Which one do you want to try first? Well, we have. The pink those. ones. Those are. <laughs> is it Joguzi or Yoguzi yogurt candy? Strawberry, raspberry, peach, or lemon yogurt inside? Hmm, that might be interesting. It says open up a Polish fridge and you'll find milk, buttermilk, sour cream, butter, kefir, and quark, and last but not least, yogurt. So yeah, so that, that makes sense. Yogi, yo, Yoguzi, <laughs> or Yoguzi. Yeah. Okay. Looks like it's a uh, strawberry flavor. Looks like it's a strawberry one, yeah. yeah. It does taste like yogurt. It does. Mm -hmm. I'd say texture-wise, and because of the strawberry flavor, they remind me of those little candies you get in the Hickory Farms packages. Yes. They're a strawberry flavor, and they also have a filling in them. Not yogurt, though. It's just usually like a strawberry right. kind of jelly, almost like filling, mm -hmm. I would say. But even flavor and texture-wise, they remind me a little bit, except these have the, the yogurt flavor. And these are a little bit softer. I know which kind of you're referring to. Mm -hmm. yeah. Little packages look like little strawberries. Mm -hmm. Little foil packets, yeah. Yeah, they're a bit softer. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, the moment you put it in your mouth, it's almost right away that strawberry yogurt yeah I, I wasn't i wasn't sure if it was going to be a hard candy like we'd have to wait and get to the yogurt but it's yeah. you know it feels a little bit tough on the outside but then once you crunch down on it it, it chews pretty easily yeah. yeah those are good yeah so next up we have milk fudge krauka candy and we've had these I before i think we had these in that halloween box we get we did yeah it says beloved Polish caramels with the crumbly outside and gooey inside. Got that little cow on the front. This says it's Poland's most popular candy, the little cow. Okay. We're not talking about the cute cow on the wrapper, though it's adorable. We're referencing the candy's name, which is literally little cow or krauki in Polish. Okay. Okay. Wrapper stuck to it. It's happened to me too. Boop. They are a little sticky. Mm -hmm. These are good. I don't know that I would call it gooey inside. It just reminds it's... me of a 
I don't, it says fudge, but it doesn't seem like our fudge. It seems closer to the clotted cream fudge that's, that we've had. That's exactly what I was thinking. You mentioned gooey. <laughs> these are good, but there's nothing gooey about these. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we love clotted cream fudge. Mm-hmm. And it's very much like that. That's good, though. Yeah. I think I do like the flavor of the clotted cream fudge a little better than, or maybe even the texture too, but texture and flavor wise, it does give me hints of clotted cream fudge. Mm -hmm. Very similar. Yeah. Closer to anything I would say we have here as far as fudge. Yeah. I would say, say maybe it's not as creamy. Yeah. Not as creamy. Definitely. Now, next up we have, this is kind of unusual, gingerbread sticks. <clears throat> I always associate gingerbread with Christmas, so maybe these are Christmas leftovers they're trying to get rid of. I don't maybe. know. It says cocoa glazed gingerbread sticks. You want to try sure. tackling that package? Spiced Polish biscuit sticks dipped in chocolate. Well, it sounds kind of good. Yes. That reminds me of the um, the German cookies we got that were gingerbread with the chocolate on the outside. Oh, those are really good. Yeah. Were they called Lebkuchen? I'm not sure if that was it or not, but they were really, but they're nice and chewy inside and soft and chewy. Those were good. Yeah, I think some even had maybe a little bit of jam inside. I don't remember the jam. You don't remember? Mm -mm. I do remember us having some that had a little bit of a citrus taste to them, though. Like maybe they had citrus peel? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, those were good. So it says each stick is made from a special recipe of ginger, cinnamon, and star anise. Uh-oh. Then coated with rich chocolate. Enjoy the last bites of the holidays. Anis. Anis, yes. <laughs> Your favorite. Mm. Those are nice. Those are bad. Some of my favorite spices. Mm. Yeah, you don't taste the anis that much. Because you've got that ginger and cinnamon in there. Yeah, those are really good. Those are good. Mm-hmm. What's it called? Pocky? It looks like Pocky, yeah. <laughs> it looks like Pocky. Yeah, these are really good. Yeah, the I do bread. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially Ginger. the chocolate dip part. Sorry, I keep yeah. <laughs> okay. talking at the same time. But. Yeah, this, the, the two go really well together. Mm -hmm. The gingerbread and the chocolate. Yeah. Because we get down to just the gingerbread stick part. It's good, but not as good as that part that's dipped in chocolate. It really does add something to it. Mm-hmm. So let's follow that up with something similar. This is a chocolate covered, oh boy, Pier, Piernixie <laughs> gingerbread. Is that how you pronounce it? The legendary gingerbread of Torun, Poland. So apparently Chopin was impressed with the gingerbread in this town. So let's see how it is. That oh, looks nice. We're going to split that in half. If you want. See how crumbly it is. Ooh, it looks like it's softer. One of the softer gingerbreads, huh? Mm -hmm. It's the center of it. Yeah, I was expecting a hard crumbly cookie, but mm -hmm. that's... Mm, it smells really good. They remind me more of the German cookies we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. But maybe not as sweet. What do you think? That could be wrong. Not as sweet and not as moist. Not as sweet, not as moist. I'd also say maybe not as spicy. Mm -hmm. At least the ones we had, it seemed like they had more spices. As we mentioned, I think some had citrus flavorings in them. I can taste the gingerbread, but it doesn't taste as strong as mm -hmm. some of the ones that we had from uh, Germany. Mm-hmm. Still nice, but I have to say, I think I like the ones we got from Germany better. The ones that have the citrus flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would agree. And they seem to have, um, maybe it's just me, they seem to have more icing on it too. Yeah. I'm, while, while I like the softer cookie of those, I think I actually like some of the spices and the chocolate they put on these a little better. Yeah. I those agree. are really tasty. Mm hmm. Yeah, that stood out. Next up, I don't think I'm even going to try to pronounce that. Oh, come on. <laughs> e Weddle Melt Chocolate with Peanut and Cocoa Filling. 
Decadence courtesy of Poland's oldest chocolatier, it says. I can't help it. I look at the packaging. And maybe it's something with the color. I immediately thought Cadbury. Cadbury, yeah, with the, the purple. Mm -hmm. It says, you already know about the E. Weddell Company, but did you know that it was run by the Willy Wonka of Poland? And there you go. And there is the center of it. So it's supposed to have peanuts in it, huh? Mm. <laughs> mm. Same time, that one's good. Oh yeah. Of course, we both love peanut and chocolate, so. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Mm hmm Yeah. Good combination. Now I wish we'd save this one for last because this was really good. Oh yeah. <laughs> That is tasty. What's interesting is on the package, mm -hmm. it almost looked like You'd see. there was a wafer in it. I, I kind of expect this to be a wafer type candy bar. I almost, um, I wonder if there's maybe like a wafer on the top or little bits of wafer. Maybe, I thought that was the peanuts in it though. Mm. It has oh. a really nice peanut and chocolate flavor and the texture is really nice too. It is. I don't know if it's peanut flavor added to the chocolate with bits of wafer. Not sure, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just know I like <laughs> it. They call them decadently dense peanut buttery chocolate. They said, oh, complete with bits of wafer. There it is right there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Oh, they found, you found the English side. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so there are little bits of wafer in it. I guess good. that's where you get a little bit of crunch. I assumed it was maybe from the peanuts, but yeah. sounds like not. But yeah, very good, that one. That was very good. Yeah. No complaints. Last item. This is our last one here. Another one of these, I don't know if I'm going to try to pronounce this name. Tasi Mletchko <laughs> Dark Chocolate Covered Marshmallow Bar. Poland's iconic pillowy cocoa covered treat. This sounds good, too. I do have, like how it's Polish on one side and then English on the other. That is nice. Yeah. I kept looking at the Polish side thinking, I don't know what these are. <laughs> Vanilla marshmallow bar and dark chocolate. Mm hmm. How do you feel about marshmallow? It depends. I always feel like, you know, overall marshmallows, like just eating plain marshmallows here. Mm hmm. Not a huge fan, but I have to say when we tried those Tunnix tea cakes with oh. that marshmallow, it was more like marshmallow cream. That was really good with the combination with the chocolate and the biscuit on the bottom. Love the really Tunnix. Yeah. yeah, just absolutely love Tunnix. So we'll see how these are. It says fluffy dark chocolate coated vanilla marshmallow. It says it's skyrocketed in popularity after Jan Weddell, I guess that's how you pronounce his name, first crafted it in 1936. that marshmallow inside hmm. <laughs> not bad they almost remind me more of our pinwheel cookies really possibly of course it's been many years since i've had a pinwheel but... it was a rocky road those like in the candy bar section you find rocky road mm. it's like chocolate covered uh, marshmallow but you can really taste the vanilla in this. Normally, mm -hmm. you don't really taste vanilla in, in, in marshmallow. This is really good. Does not compare to the Tunnix Key Cakes for me, though. I don't think the marshmallow is good, and I don't think the chocolate is as good either. Really? That's my opinion. Right. I thought it was not bad, but I just felt like the flavor of the marshmallow and the flavor of the chocolate could have been better. I love Tunnix. I like these. What stands <laughs> out to me is really that vanilla flavor in the marshmallow. Mm -hmm. It was very soft. Yeah. So you're it's saying nice. that you, you like the tonics better than this? Definitely, yeah, okay. way better. I love the tonics. Uh, I I think these are a nice change, just with that vanilla, vanilla flavor. I'd still be a, I'd st I have to say I'm still a tonics That person. makes it a little different, yeah. yeah. All right, so time to pick some favorites. I think this one's gonna be pretty easy for me. I had some clear winners. Okay, ladies first. <laughs> so for savory, I'm gonna go for the Monster Munch. Really nice little chip there. Mm, okay. I like it. Nice and light. Good flavor. Mm, pardon me. Excuse me. 
That's whatever. pretty easy. There are only two to choose from, and oh. and I'll take chips over pretzels. Pretzels. <laughs> okay. And for sweet, where'd that candy bar go? Yeah, you know which one I'm looking at the the chocolate with peanut butter and cocoa filling. Oh, now it's all messed up. I can't say the name, but that that was the clear winner for me. I love that one. How about you? Okay. Here's where we will agree to disagree. Oh. <laughs> uh, savory. I'm going to go with these. Oh, you're going to go for the pretzels. I'm going to go with these here pretzels, these cheese and onion pretzels. I like them. Uh, I, I enjoyed both. Uh, to me, I, it's, it's just, these are so light. I, I kind of like having a little mm. more crunch okay. in, in the snack. Where I, I think these have that. They do. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And I have to say, I, I like those too. I, I really like them both, but yeah. you know, if I'm going to snack on something, I'd probably be bad and go for the chips. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, they're so light, you feel like you can just yeah. eat them all. And, <laughs> yeah. Now for the sweets, that's where we both agree. Oh man, that chocolate bar with the peanut and the bits of wafer. This one here, and I know we mangled the wrapper. Sorry. <laughs> oh, if we only had these here... In the United States. Oh, yeah. That was really good. Yeah. Yeah, no complaints. Big, there. big winner there. Mm hmm. Just, oh, yeah. <laughs> Great flavor. Just the peanut, chocolate, little bits of wafer. It's very satisfying. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that is our Universal Yums box from Poland. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like to watch food reactions, food unboxings, Please consider subscribing to our channel. That's what we like to do here on Finn Loves Food. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.